award-winning sportscaster and the host of TNT's Inside the NBA. Please welcome Ernie Johnson, Jr. Thanks for being here. I, you must be a little bit tired because you were in Phoenix last night, right? I was for the championship. For the, yeah, the uh, NCAA championship. Uh, Tar Heels of North Carolina. Yeah, absolutely. Fans. Give it up. Um, uh, okay, so there are a lot of games to watch in March Madness, though. 68 yeah. teams. How many games? That, is it 34 games or something like that? Well, there's a bunch that first weekend. Do you have to watch all of them? Yes, we do. But but here's the deal. I mean, and, and I tell Charles and Kenny, who, yep. who I work with all the time, sure. when they say, oh, these hours are so much, I said, if you had a boss who told you the first two days of the tournament, all I want you to do is watch March Madness, you'd probably sign up for that. And so we get to do that, and it's awesome. And uh, and it's a, lot, it's a lot of homework. You know, there's 68 teams, and... You're expected to know who all the players are. But you can't possibly know who all the players are. No, you can't. You can't. So how do you, no. when a guy makes a play on a team you know nothing about, how do you BS your way through? Not that you ever would, but how does an announcer BS their way through a player who, who he has to talk about who he doesn't know jack about? I, I would say there are certain fallback lines. You know, if you don't know who the who the um, backup point guard for South Dakota State is. Mm -hmm. you, know, you could say, well, Will Farber? Oh, yeah, him. Yeah. Uh, and, and, you say, and you say, oh, well, no, no, the guy, he, he can shoot the three ball. He's not real quick, but of course he's got great handles. And if you say it with conviction, they say, well, he, he knows everybody on that team. Wow. wow. I did not follow that at all. Yeah. Yeah. I did not follow that at all. Um, uh, uh, who did you have? I had North Carolina. You that's had gonna sound, North Carolina that's gonna in your sound, bracket? That's going to sound phony. Uh, the week before the tournament, I was all about Oregon. And they lost one of their best players. Yeah, I, I, they lost one of their best players. And I said, I'm going to, when I fill out my bracket, I'm going North Carolina. It was the only team I had left by the time it got there. So I did not win my pool. But, uh, did but you, I did wait, have Did you say you filled out your bracket a week before the championship? No, I, I, I predicted Oregon a week. No, before the tournament started. Oh, I thought not a week right, before. The, a week no, ago, you no. filled it out. I'm like, of course, anybody can do that. <laughs> yeah, it's, really, I don't see what the big problem is. Yeah. I just fill it out as I go. I've never missed one. Yeah. Um, well, uh, you host Inside the NBA on T, uh, TNT, as I was saying. You got uh, you got Barkley, you got Shaq, you got Kenny Smith. Those are some very large personalities yeah. there. Um, are you like camp counselor? How do you control I'm, I'm, that group of people? You're I, the host, but they're 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 pretty powerful personalities. It's been camp counselor. It's been uh, point guard. Mm -hmm. It's been uh, traffic cop. And, and I think that's a real insult to real traffic cops because, <laughs> especially in this city, if you you know, if a traffic cop is trying to make sure nothing happens in the intersection, everybody gets through. Uh, I'm like the rogue traffic cop. I wave Kenny through the intersection, knowing full well Shaq will T-bone him. And and <laughs> and uh, so that's that, that, that's a big guy. That's, so really, yeah. if, if I were an actual traffic cop, yeah. I, I would have a desk duty or something by this point. I would. Well, uh, not Shaq must be sort of hard to wrangle. Um, he's, he's a big personality. He's the world's biggest kid. He's, I, 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 get to, I get to work with these guys. I, I grew up with two older sisters. Uh, this is as close as I'll ever come to having brothers. And, and we all treat each other that way. But Shaq is just a big, huge kid. And, and, uh, and he's all about YouTube. You know, where it's, it's 15 seconds before we go on halftime. And he's got some kind of music playing in front of him. And he's got his phone out. And he's singing something. He says, Ernie, sing this verse with me. You get like two billion. You get like two billion YouTube hits. I, 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 I don't care if it gets two billion YouTube. Really, if you sing this verse with me, you get like ten million YouTube hits. And so I, I, tr I, I play along with him at times. But he is. He's just. He's. They're all three are wonderful. And and Shaq is just. Yeah, he's the world's biggest kid. Well, you have a, a new book. It's called Unscripted: The Unpredictable Moments That Make Life Extraordinary. What do you mean about the unpredictable moments? Like what, what are some of the examples in your own life that, that have made your life extraordinary? Well, I think it's... Um, I've tried to write the script, and I think, um, you know, for a long time... You know, I, I married a beautiful woman, Cheryl. Um, we've been married for almost 35 years now. Um, and... Thank you. And, and I, I really... I outkicked my, I outkicked my coverage big time. But um, so I had this beautiful wife and a great job, and, a, and we had Eric, who's here tonight, and he's sitting somewhere. He's 32 years old, my first. There he is right there. And, um, um, and so, 
I had a boy and a girl and a great wife and a great job, and that's exactly the way I scripted it. But then the unscripted happens, and my wife sees a special about Romanian orphans in 1990 and says, we should adopt one of those kids. And she goes to Romania, adopts a little boy who eventually is diagnosed with muscular dystrophy. So now the, the script that we would written, it goes totally unscripted. And a lot of kids don't get out of their teens when they got MD. He's 28 years old now. He's a miracle. And, um, and his name is Michael. And we adopted a little girl from Paraguay, and we adopted two girls out of foster care about seven or eight years ago because my wife, see, look, my wife is the world changer. I'm a sportscaster, Stephen. She's the world changer. She's the one who works with addicted women. She's the one who, who fights child sex trafficking and says a lot of girls age out of foster care and get lured into that. Let's adopt one. We adopted two. I mean, so it's, it's these unscripted moments that we don't run away from. We embrace them, and, that, and, it, makes, and it makes our lives worthwhile. Well, that's, that's beautiful. Thank you so much, Arnie. It's been my pleasure. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much. The book is unscripted, on sale now. The man is Ernie Johnson, Jr., everybody. We'll be back with a performance by Father John Misty.